On this week's episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast, we're going to talk about Google My Business, a new feature that you can add your inventory on your Google My Business, and we're going to talk about automated inventory ads and collections ads for Facebook. All that and more on this week's episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast. Welcome in to another episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast. My name is David Farmer with Intice, and today we are going to be talking about a brand new feature that is available for your Google My Business profile, and that is cars on GMB. Now, in my opinion, I think this is, is a an answer to Facebook's marketplace where you can take your used vehicle inventory and you can put it right on to Facebook. Now that's a little bit different than the Facebook advertising, uh, the automated inventory ads or collections ads, uh, kind of two different things that a lot of people uh, kind of combine uh, their thinking. So there is two different ways that you can get inventory on to Facebook and we're going to talk a little bit about that today but our really our main topic is going to be getting your inventory on your Google My Business uh, listing. So let's go ahead and start there. Uh, so cars uh, on uh, your business listing is a new feature and share it with you right here. This is available on developers.com developers.google.com slash cars dash for dash sale. So this is a new feature that Google is piloting to be able to surface your inventory directly on your Google My Business listing. So for, for uh, those of you that are not familiar with your Google My Business listing, it is a free business profile that all businesses have the ability to put on the Google search results page. Your GMB listing, Google My Business uh, for short, is really your, um, your profile for Google uh, on Google. You have a lot of different things that you can utilize with it. You can add uh, photos, you can add posts, you can add products, uh, and now you have the ability to post your vehicle inventory. So it's almost like a mini website that's available basically for free uh, for customers to be able to find your business. Very exciting uh, enhancement. Uh, in my mind, it's something that every dealership should be utilizing, just like you should be utilizing Facebook and have your inventory there, not only in the Facebook marketplace, but also having them in uh, automated inventory ads and collections ads in uh, Facebook as well. But really our main topic is gonna be uh, the Google My Business uh, cars for sale uh, option. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at a Google my business uh, profile, and I'm just gonna go right to a search results page uh, right on a desktop to start with. Uh, so we'll uh, just uh, Google uh, one of our uh, favorite uh, dealerships here. And you'll see right here on the right-hand side, this is your free Google My Business listing, which I'm sure a lot of you are already uh, familiar with. Um, and uh, if you're not, you really should be. And on the left-hand side, this is where we are going to have either paid ads, we're gonna have organic search results. Uh, in this case, you can see our very number one spot is a, uh, an organic listing. So that's fantastic for this particular dealership. We can also go to another dealership that, that we, uh, one of our other favorite dealerships here at the podcast. And you can see in this case, we have a, um, a paid listing first, then the organic listing, and also the GMB listing on the right-hand side. So looking at the GMB uh, pro, uh, profile listing right here, of course, we have the ability to have photos uh, on that uh, GMB profile. We're going to have the Google reviews. That's going to be available right there. And then as we kind of go down on the uh, GMB profile, you're gonna see that we have the ability to incorporate products 
our recommendation to add products is going to be to utilize this for your monthly lease specials. You could also throw up uh, some special use vehicles in the format of adding a image and then some additional content around those. And then if you are going to be utilizing uh, the products section of the Google My Business listing, we would recommend that whatever the landing page URL for any of these products, drive them to your dealership's website and utilize a UTM code so you can actually track the amount of activity that you're getting from Google My Business to your dealership website right in your Google Analytics a platform by utilizing that uh, you, those UTM codes. Uh, in addition to having your uh, specials, or your product posts, we also recommend utilizing specific calls to action for shopping activity. So this is going to be considered digital retailing activity, whether it is giving the customer the ability to get their free credit score directly on your dealership website, get pre-approved for a car loan, or even getting an express cash offer from for their vehicle, whether they purchase a vehicle from you or not. This is a great way to engage shoppers today in spring 2021. We know that large national online retailers really are doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down on this advertising message, trying to take your customers from you by giving them, uh, giving your customers the ability to sell their vehicles to those national online retailers versus trading them into your dealership. Uh, so this is a, another great way to be able to provide that marketing message to consumers in a very credible way, and it is free. So uh, again, uh, using uh, Express Cash Offer as a, uh, as a product post or any type of post on your Google My Business listing, a great way to uh, engage with uh, customers uh, on your GMB listing. Now also you can look at uh, other uh, different categories within those posts uh, so you can engage uh, 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 customers that way on the Google My Business uh, listing. And we're going to have some other uh, pieces of information that's available for customers, Q&A, questions and answers. That's also something that you can manage on your GMB. And speaking of being able to manage that uh, on GMB, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. Now, you can do it right on business.google.com and then log in. You can have multiple users having access to um, that uh, uh, that business profile. Uh, so you can have different people doing and managing different things. This is, of course, where you'd be able to respond to uh, any comments, any questions, also specifically anybody leaving any reviews, whether they are positive reviews or negative reviews. Uh, this is a great way to engage with those customers. A recommendation that I would have for any dealership is to have your management team available and watching that Google My Business uh, profile for any reviews and responding to those customers that are leaving positive and or negative reviews. Uh, I think it's a great way to be able to engage with customers in real retail types of activity in 2021. You know, in this post uh, pandemic environment that we're in, we're kind of figuring out how customers are going to be interacting with us uh, at the dealership. As many dealerships, I'm sure you are having a spike in activity uh, at your dealership. Many of our dealerships are exper experiencing record numbers of sales, but we're also looking at uh, that inventory tightening up. Uh, so we have this supply and demand issue. Uh, this is another great way to be able to kind of offset that in vehicle acquisition, vehicle and uh, customer engagement, doing that right on your GMB profile. So uh, uh, to kind of reiterate, again, GMB does have a, a iPhone application or a Android application where you can have access to engage with customers um, right on your mobile device, or you can just go right to business.google.com and be able to have access to that. And you can create multiple user access to be able to create those engagements. 
Now, also, so we got the reviews, we got the posts, um, uh, we got the products that are available, but uh, they've recently talked about a new, brand new way to engage with customers right on your business profile. Now, this is, as you can see, this is a, a feature that is being piloted, meaning that it is still in beta. Uh, it's out there right now, and we can help you get your cars on GMB. So if you're curious about how to be able to do that, uh, it is is a paid service. It's not like paid as in Google Ads paid where you have to pay per click or pay per engagement or uh, there's a cost per impression. This is just a fee uh, that uh, is needed to be paid to a supplier or a, an approved vendor to be able to get your inventory in a format fed to the uh, uh, the, this business profile for your dealership. And again, we can help you get your inventory on your Google My Business if you are interested. Uh, I think it's a very exciting uh, uh, enhancement. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at um, what this actually looks like in a real environment. Um, but I mean, it's very simple if you think about you know how this works. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over to my overhead. Okay, so we have right here, uh, we have Google My Business uh, set up. Just I just did a search uh, for, uh, for a dealership. You can see again, we have an ad in this case. Uh, you can see how nice this ad is set up. We've got a little image right there of a, uh, of a Toyota vehicle. We have the different um, uh, uh, di di different CTAs uh, going to different pages on the site. We have a click to call uh, button uh, right there. Uh, and then as we come down, this is where we start to see the Google My Business listing. Now again, this is all free from Google. It has access to all of the images that are uploaded for the dealership. It has the address, which will give you ability to go to the map. Uh, and then you get navigation uh, to that particular dealership. And then we start to look at some of the other things that are available. So, uh, of course, we can look at the updates. And if I were to go ahead and click on updates, you're going to see this is where we have those advertisements available uh, for the dealership. So we can include all the different lease specials, uh, different things that you have going on. This is a great way to be able to profile these four customers uh, as they kind of go through and find what is most important to them go and look at more posts. And again, we can talk about uh, 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 different CTAs or calls to action, including Express Cash Offer, Credit Score Express, getting a free credit score, uh, no social security number needed. And again, when customer clicks on this, it's going to go directly to your dealership's website with those CTAs uh, and special landing pages and special UTM codes to be able to track the success of these free posts uh, for you. But now what you'll also see up here is we have some uh, additional uh, uh, CTAs. We can get to our reviews right here. We can get to other photos, parts, service about the dealership. But gosh, look at here, right, right, right here now. We have a new one that's available. And I would actually challenge you right now, stop what you're doing, pause this, grab your phone, and uh, uh, put your dealership name right in the search results. Um, and you're going to want to do this on a mobile device, the Cars, uh, cars for Sale uh, feature is a, excuse me, mobile only uh, feature. So do it right on your phone, Google your dealership name, pull up your Google My Business listing and see if you have cars on there. If you don't, you're missing out. If you want to be able to add them, of course, reach out to me, david at entice.com. Be happy to do it or shoot me a text at 727 514-2097. Happy to re respond back immediately uh, with ways to get that done for you. But let's go ahead and click on this cars. Pop over, hit cars. Now you're going to see I have inventory right here. Okay, so let's look at some of these uh, some of these different ways that customers can, to, can engage with these the vehicle inventory right on Google. And you can see I have not left 
the Google domain. I am right there. I'm still in the search results page, and I have all of my inventory right here on Google.com, uh, and I have the ability to do some searches uh, or filtering. So if I'm interested in a Corolla, of course, I have all my Corollas. And do a little quick little uh, shout out to uh, uh, a, a, a friend of the podcast, and that is Jay Smithwick with uh, 360 Booth. You can see all of these photos are taken in a 360 booth. You can just see beautiful shots of these vehicles, very consistent uh, across the board. Great lighting, great shots. Highly recommend that as well. But you can see here, I can even go into the different uh, trim levels uh, and I can even go over to a new or used if I wanted to and I get those automated uh, filtered views of uh, these different vehicles. Now let's say I am partial to a silver one. I can jump right in. Still right on google.com. I have the MSRP right there. Uh, if the dealership had a special price, I think that that price would come in. But again, we're still feeling this out of how we get that in there. I have a link directly to the dealer listing. So that's going to bring the uh, the, the um, the customer right to the dealership's VDP versus the Google VDP. But you can see right here what they feel is important, which is going to be the price, the condition, the exterior, interior, and the VIN, um, a link to the Google Maps, other uh, vehicles. And then also we have all of these great uh, photos. Uh, so we can just kind of swipe right uh, with all of these photos, uh, being able to look at, uh, look at all of these photos. I can even just do a click, zoom in, high quality image. Again, all right on google.com. This is the search results page. All of this interactivity is available right on google.com. And again, just, just some great uh, photos, very important. Uh, and I can go ahead and share this as well. I want to share it on Facebook. It gives me a link directly to that VDP URL. Share it on Twitter. Very cool uh, functionality. And then I can go back into the search results page. Uh, and I can look at other things. So that's, that is uh, the Google My Business Cars for Sale. Uh, again, this is a, a, a pilot program that Google has right now. Um, I think it's very cool. It's definitely something I would definitely would uh, highly recommend uh, getting your dealership on. Uh, whether this is a new car dealership or a used car dealership, um, I'm sure we can get uh, you set up uh, for both or you can do this through your provider. Of course, this isn't something that you have to do um, uh, through us or anybody that offers this feature. Reach out to your uh, search engine marketing partner, if they're handing, handling uh, your uh, your SEM, your search engine marketing, maybe they're also handling your SEO, your search engine optimization. Maybe they're also helping you with your Google My Business listing. If they're not, they should be. This should be something that should be constantly updated with fresh content. Um, uh, it's a perfect uh, and really one of the best social media platforms uh, that you should be utilizing uh, uh, today. Now, uh, so just kind of a quick recap before we go into the second uh, segment of the Modern Dealer podcast. Uh, we're 18 minutes in on the uh, the MDB clock, and I do want to cover a few uh, different things. But a few things that I would recommend that you would look at. Number one, uh, get access to your Google My Business uh, profile. You can have multiple people have access to it. Your management team should have access to it. You should be interacting with customers uh, right on there in live time or as close to live uh, as possible. If somebody leaves a review, jump in there and respond to that. Uh, the amount of goodwill that you can uh, that you can build up by just thanking somebody for leaving a good positive review is amazing uh, so that you have a perfect opportunity to do it. Get it on your phone. I'm sure every 
uh, dealership manager has either an iPhone or some sort of Android device, download uh, the, the GMB app, get access to your GMB profile, get in there and respond, add photos, add posts, um, put your specials on there, add other calls to action. When you use a landing page, make sure you throw up uh, a UTM code so you can see that uh, that interactivity and those clicks to your dealership website right inside of Google Analytics. Uh, we've talked about UTM codes in the past. If you do a quick search, if you want to learn more about how UTM uh, codes work, I have done a video in the past on my other YouTube channel, uh, Entice CEO. So if you just do a quick search uh, for UTM code Entice CEO in uh, YouTube, my video will pop right up. You can click through there. It's about eight eight or nine minute video, show you exactly how you can add a UTM code to any link uh, to be able to have it discoverable inside of Google Analytics. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and kind of shift gears into the second, uh, uh, second uh, thing I wanna talk about today, and that is how to get your inventory on uh, Facebook. Now, I'm sure a lot of the watchers and listeners uh, of the podcast are doing uh, Facebook advertising or you, you're you either doing it yourself or you're subbing it out to your advertising uh, agency. Um, and I think it's always good for dealership managers to be able to kind of expand uh, their knowledge base on on how you can utilize uh, these these uh, digital platforms to be able to advertise to consumers so you get an idea how customers can uh, uh, interact with your dealership right on Facebook. So one way to do it is to utilize uh, Facebook Marketplace. Now, I like to look at Facebook Marketplace kind of uh, akin to uh, Craigslist. It's where you can take your used vehicle inventory and get that posted on Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and get that pulled up here so I can actually show you what that looks like. Give me just a moment here. Um, and let me switch this over. All right, so I'm sharing my phone now. So this is Marketplace. You open up Facebook uh, on your uh, on your phone, and I would also recommend that if you're not on Facebook, uh, you need to get on Facebook as a uh, somebody that's working uh, at a dealership. A lot of people might uh, think that uh, Facebook is a waste of time, it's a time suck, it's silly, but your customers are engaging on Facebook and this gives you the opportunity to engage with customers on Facebook. So whether you wanna post on Facebook yourself, you know, just because you have a profile and you have the ability to post, doesn't mean you have to do it. Uh, you don't have to put posts on where you're eating or what you're doing or where you're going, but being familiar with the Facebook platform is extremely important. Uh, and you can interact with potential customers on Facebook uh, as they're interacting with your dealership. So I highly recommend having a Facebook uh, profile. Get on Facebook, follow your dealership. I would recommend that you have access to your dealership's Facebook page. I think this idea that only one person at the dealership uh, should have access to it or uh, your advertising agency is the only one that has access to it is a huge fail. Uh, I mean, this is we're 2021, we're living in a social media and digital age. You need to be on Facebook and you, you need to be able to interact for your dealership on Facebook uh, Im uh, immediately. So again, I'll get off my soapbox and, and not preach to you that you need to be on Facebook, you sh but you should be on Facebook. With that said, let's jump back in here. If you are on Facebook, you come down here, you can see uh, right there, that little icon, that is the Facebook Marketplace icon right there. If you click it, it's gonna open up uh, Facebook Messenger, I'm sorry, Facebook Marketplace. On Facebook Marketplace, you're gonna find anything that you would find on Craigslist, you're gonna find here. Uh, and you, as you can start to see, as you can see, you can start to see some of the previous things that I've looked at uh, is gonna pop up right here. 
Uh, and this is going to be their vehicle display page uh, right in Facebook Marketplace. These are going to be used cars only. Uh, currently, new cars are not available uh, on Facebook Marketplace. But this is also an area that you can advertise new cars um, right in Facebook. Uh, so you can advertise. So you can see right here, this is a, a sponsored post uh, by dealership. Uh, uh, around this area here, and uh, you're going to be able to see a whole bunch of different uh, content in here. But as a customer is able to come in here, I can go into categories. The top category is vehicles. I have the ability to filter it based on a bunch of different uh, uh a bunch of different types of vehicles. So I can do it by make, I can do it by model. Let's go ahead and jump in and do it by a Camry. This is gonna pull up dealership and a private, uh, a private uh, customer listings. But you can see kind of how this all works. So if we look at a dealership uh, post, you can see that we have this right here. We could also come in here. This is kind of cool. If I go into uh, the location, I can choose where I want to be able to search. Uh, you, can, you can also change uh, the, uh, uh, the radius of where you're searching. And I can hit that. I can apply it, and it's going to show me those vehicles. Uh, so depending on where you have your location, you might want to uh, change that so you can find your dealership vehicles and see what it looks like on uh, Messenger. And this is another challenge. So this is another challenge. Challenge number two for this video is to go onto Facebook, Go on to Facebook Marketplace, find a vehicle from your dealership, and then click on the uh, message dealer. All right, so or message uh, uh, the seller, right? Send seller a message. Go in here, find out what happens when you make a message. How is your dealership interacting with customers that are messaging your dealerships? Now, I've done this for uh, a, a, you know, a bunch of different dealerships that uh, we either do business with or, or uh, are potentially trying to do business with. And it's, it's amazing how many, uh, how many Facebook accounts are not monitored, where a customer is right there asking to communicate with you and you're not there to answer the customer. So, you know, it's almost like um, if you've been in the business a while, like me, right? Uh, you know, back in the day, phone ups were extremely important because it was that 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 pinnacle of a point where a customer has seen the advertisement, they know about you, they looked up your phone number, they're calling the dealership, they're asking, hey, do you still have this vehicle in stock? Or they're responding to an ad, uh, whether it's an auto trader or you know newspaper, whatever it is or what it was. But at that point, you want to be able to engage with the customer at that very moment that they have this heightened uh, awareness of your dealership and engagement. Same thing with Facebook today or any type of uh, engagement. You want to be there when the customer reaches out to you. So again, a challenge for you as a dealer, what happens when you go in there and you message your dealership, who's responding, Who, and then you, you start to ask yourself, who should be responding? Uh, should this be a manager that is responding to this? Is this something that maybe a team of people can be responding to? Should you sub this out to a chat provider that knows how to handle these chats uh, to be able to funnel that into a lead and get that to the right person, be able to answer commonly uh, 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 commonly asked questions, uh, to be able to, to funnel that customer or to entice them down a, uh, a purchase funnel to get them into the dealership. Okay, so jumping back in here, again, uh, search results page, vehicle detail page, right on Facebook. You can see that there's other information that's available. Um, uh, uh, they, they have the Kelly Blue Book Fair Market range right in there. You can see how your vehicle is comparing to other vehicles in the marketplace. Um, they, they're providing a uh, a payment where they can actually come in here and they can customize uh, this. They can change the price. They can change the term. They can reduce the uh, interest rate, and it's going to continue to uh, modify that monthly uh, payment. So that's available. So, uh, you know, learn from what 
Facebook and Google is doing, making sure that you have these types of tools available on your dealerships of EDP would be extremely important as well. Also, you can see here uh, that they are, they are uh, uh, providing a vehicle history provided by Carfax. Now, I, I'm not sure how much uh, I love this feature, although I love Carfax. I love the Carfax brand, uh, but, but taking somebody off of your vehicle detail page and putting them on a Carfax uh, uh, website, uh, I'm, I'm a little iffy about that. Um, uh, especially, I don't even have uh, the ability to click into the dealership's uh, uh, SRP yet. And you can see right here, powered by Carfax Inc., follow, uh, 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 view on website. Uh, so they're utilizing your feed uh, right here uh, to be able to advertise for uh, Carfax. So anyways, this is, this is Facebook Marketplace. It's a free service similar to uh, Craigslist, used car listings are available there. You have the ability to advertise on uh, Facebook Marketplace with automated inventory ads, which we're going to follow up and modify today. But before we do that, I don't think I've done it yet in this episode. I'm going to take a, take a minute, take a break. I'm going to get a nice cup uh, or a nice sip of my dark roast uh, coffee today. Always good to go with the Modern Dealer Podcast. A little bit of hot coffee. All right. Thank you for that. All right. So Facebook Marketplace, uh, inventory available uh, there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop over to, uh, again, I'm going to pop over to a couple examples here. So let's talk about uh, automated inventory ads. Uh Facebook is a great marketing platform. A lot of different ad types you want to utilize within Facebook. As a Facebook uh, advertising uh, service provider, we make sure that we're utilizing multiple different types of ads uh, for your dealerships or whether, whether you're utilizing our company or somebody else or doing it yourself. Bravo to you if you are, uh, but making sure that you're utilizing the carousel type ads, utilizing monthly ad specials, may, making sure that you're deep linking that to your dealership's website, utilizing UTM code so you can track all that, uh, all, all the, that customer activity to your dealership website, creating multiple multiple engagement uh, advertisement like lead ads around scheduling a test drive or maybe requesting an express cash offer in those lead type of lead types of ads we're having a tremendous amount of success with those uh, message ads where customers can message you directly or leave comments uh, on an ad and you can have uh, people uh, being able to interact with customers in kind of a real-time scenario. It's another great way to utilize the, the Facebook marketing platform. But really, the most important way to utilize this Facebook platform is you putting your inventory on Facebook. So Facebook calls these automated inventory ads, AIA. Uh, AIA. Now, to do this, you have to have your inventory get put into a catalog into Facebook. And there's a few main providers. Uh, we are partnered with one of those main providers to be able to bring in uh, inventory into your uh, uh, Facebook advertising catalog. We can also publish those directly to your, um, your, your Facebook marketplace as well. Uh, so we can help you get your cars on uh, Facebook Marketplace and or uh, we can help you get them into ads. Or if you have any questions about be wanting to be able to do it yourself, we can also help you do that. And we're always happy to uh, provide some tips and tricks to be able to do that yourself. All right. So automated inventory ads, a way to utilize that is uh, you, get, you get your inventory into uh, the Facebook catalog, then you can connect that catalog into uh, Facebook inventory ads. One tip I wanna share with you is making sure that your ads look, uh, look good. Now, one of the pet peeves that I have uh, with these automated inventory ads is that when you take photos of your vehicle, it's going to be uh, a rectangle-shaped uh, ad. So I'm kind of, oops, I'm kind of using my uh, my uh, fingers right here 
to show you what most dealers' uh, inventory ads look like. There's a big white space uh, up on top here. There's a white space on the bottom. So you're really wasting a whole bunch of space, and it really looks like you're advertising from 1997 where you can't even fill up the space that's available to you. So highly recommend creating a custom frame for your Facebook uh, inventory catalog feed. Um, happy to share with you. Uh, hit me up uh, email or text and I'll share with you step by step on how to create one of these uh, Facebook, Facebook uh, catalog frames to gr give you a nice clean uh, uh, way to create these advertisements. So once you have your inventory in these catalogs, you're able to utilize the Facebook Pixel to drive the content that's in here. That Facebook Pixel will track what vehicles a customer looks like, looks at on your dealership's website and will serve up ads that are appropriate for those customers uh, right in these ads themselves. And they'll that pixel will also help you track conversions that take place on your dealership website. Uh, so automated inventory ads, get your inventory into Facebook uh, automatically uh, like you see here. Also, um, we wanna talk about another type of ad unit uh, and that is a Facebook collections ad. Uh, this is one of my newest favorite type of ads that's available from Facebook. And what's really cool about these is that I love video, I love digital video. I love different ways that we can use digital video to advertise to consumers. And in this case, we're utilizing a, a four by five video ad which the top part is the dealership's uh, traditional TV spot. The bottom part is an interactive type of ad that covers uh, all of the great calls to action or unique selling propositions that are available at the dealership uh, in this format. And then the actual CTA is to open up and see more. So I open this up. It again shows me that, the, uh, that video ad again. We uh, curate the catalog of vehicles to the vehicle that's being featured in that video ad itself. And then you can see right here, um, I have we have all of the different vehicles that are available. So this would be the search results page right inside of Facebook. So we're still right inside of Facebook, right from this ad unit itself. We have the search results page, and then we can go right into the dealership's website as you can see right here, onto another search results page. And then we can go into any one of these calls to action, such as scheduling a test drive, click to call, click to text, build your deal, uh, free credit score. Uh, these are great ways to engage customers right in the search results page. Uh, we can also have that directly on the VDP as well. Um, one of the other things I want to talk about is these uh, kind of modern CTAs uh, and dynamic CTAs for a mobile device versus a desktop device. And let me just check the uh, time. We don't, don't want the podcast to go too long. That's actually 37 minutes long. So we're going to hold off on that one for the next uh, Modern Dealer podcast. And we're going to talk about dynamic CTAs. So having uh, a different call to action on a mobile device versus a desktop device. So this is like next gen CTA, next gen lead conversion uh, that you want to be able to customize right on your SRP or your VDP. Um, so uh, that is the Modern Dealer podcast for uh, uh, for this week. This is what uh, Monday, April 19th, uh, 2021. Uh, everybody's having a big month in April. I hope you are as well. I hope you strong that you close strong in the last last uh, 10 day stretch of uh, of this month. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always. And uh, for David at Entice, that's a wrap. <laughs>